The Antwerp program is distinctive in that it invites uh, primarily young scholars, both prior to and after their PhDs, from a variety of disciplinary backgrounds, but with a common interest in religion. It invites them to come together in what is, uh, by any measure, an extremely ac uh, attractive academic and urban environment and talk about an issue that I think is of pressing concern for the world as a whole. And I think, for me, that's what's so fascinating. It's a wonderful opportunity to meet both young scholars and to engage in the exercise of speaking with people from different disciplinary backgrounds, thus escaping the cloistering that sometimes characterizes our life in the university. One of the great things about the summer school is it, fo it focuses on some fundamental questions about the relationship between religion and the modern world. Uh, questions that simply can't be answered in a highly specialist way, that have to be uh, answered taking a multidisciplinary uh, approach. And so it forces students to, uh, to engage with horizons that are well, stretch them well beyond their specialist work. And I think it refreshes their work and uh, gives them impetus for the future. Uh, disciplines are, in many respects, artificial constructions that have emerged relatively only recently. Uh, and phenomena like religion and nationalism pervade so mu many aspects of the, of the social world that you simply cannot understand such complex phenomena from a single perspective. Um, the challenge is a, how do you bring these disciplines together? And you bring them together, I believe, by trying to identify significant problems and then ask what resources are available to us from the, the range of expertise uh, uh, available uh, to understand these problems. This is a wonderful time to be studying uh, religion in the world, religion in world affairs. There is such vitality in the field, such movement, such excitement, a realization on the part of people who may a few years ago, or disciplines, I should say, a few years ago, who may have felt that religion wasn't important. Now there's a realization of its importance. And as I said a moment ago, this has led to people from a variety of different disciplinary backgrounds asking different questions, but questions that head in a similar sort of direction. That is the direction of trying to understand what is this remarkable phenomenon that we see in so many countries around the world, a phenomenon that's been variably described as the religious revitalization or religious resurgence. That is real. It's not everywhere. It's not particularly noticeable in Western Europe, but it's a part of the world in which we live. And this is a, Uxia provides access to and an opportunity to understand that phenomenon. As a scholar of nationalism, um, I'm very much aware that the, st the study has had an over-secular focus. In other words, the assumption that uh, nationalism is fundamentally secular. Uh, but in the contemporary world, we're more aware of the fascinating interrelationships between nationalism and religion. Um, and this school brings these connections out very powerfully. Um, nationalism and religion are parallel and uh, adjacent phenomena. Uh, they have long persistence in time and indeed nationalism emerges within the civilizational repertoires that religion has contributed to very powerfully. So I, I don't think you can understand nationalism in much of the modern world without that uh, understanding religion. Religion has dropped uh, off the, uh, the perspective of many scholars, particularly European scholars who think that religion is a thing of the past. It's so obvious that uh, in many parts of the world we're in a, a period of tremendous religious ferment and change. Uh, it's important on so many levels, on the level of politics, on the level of culture, and indeed because of the processes of transnational migration itself. So uh, members of many religious communities that were very poorly represented, say, in Europe, are now part of the Euro Euro European scene. So uh, I think for all of these reasons, there's a, there's a very long life to the study of religion and society. 
I do both policy work and academic work. So I travel to Washington, D.C. in policy circles, and I can say with, <laughs> with certain confidence that in uh, policy circles in places like uh, Brussels and Washington and Paris and London, there's an awareness not only that religion is important, but that it's going to remain deeply important in most of the world for many, many years to come. I don't think we should understand that importance in terms of negative things like terrorist attacks, although those are real enough. But uh, religion is an influence in uh, many positive areas of life as well. And uh, policy analysts recognize that. Business people recognize that. There's, a, a, I think, an appreciation of the importance of religion much more generally today than there was even 10 years ago. The nature of the questions being asked are changing because the world itself has changed with regard to religion. In the face of the scale of that change, I think it's both deeply intellectually important, uh, but also important uh, for one as an individual and as a scholar to take advantage of opportunities like those which Uxia offers for that kind of interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary exchange. So I think it's a wonderfully uh, a wonderful opportunity, both for junior scholars and somewhat more senior ones as well.